Hello and welcome to Socky Tech. In this video, I will show you guys my top 10 apps for my iPad that I use every single day. Now, I took special care to pick these apps specifically because they are easy to use, have a gorgeous high definition interface with smooth and fluid functionality. And that's what matters to me. And these apps are mostly free. So let's uh, dive right in. All right, so the first app I want to go over is called Flipboard. This is an unrivaled news app. It's a universal place to get all your news and social network feeds, such as Facebook and Twitter. Now, the sweetest aspect of this app is the interface. Turning pages feels delightful, and it has a magazine-style interface, which is an eye-pleaser. I always enjoy apps that do what they're supposed to do perfectly while maintaining excellent aesthetics. So what you get here is definitely beauty without sacrifices. Okay, so the next app I want to talk about is called Check. This was an application that was formerly known as Page Once. It's a financial and budget app all in one. It literally tracks your bank accounts, your credit cards, and all your bills in real time and it presents all this information to you in a meaningful way in a unified environment. So let me do an actual demonstration on this one. Let's take a look at the bills. So once you add your bills to check and you add bills by going to add account on the top and then you can pick from bills and utilities and you can pick whatever bill that you have. Many 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 um, companies support check. So if you have a Verizon wireless phone, you can tap on Verizon wireless and then you can put your username and your password and that's going to pull your bill from Verizon wireless and it's going to add it right here. Once you add a bunch of bills, you can go to overview, you can go into bills and then your bills are going to show up on this calendar. So it says that on the 24th, I have a bill due. There's a green dot. If you tap it, it says it's been paid. It was for my AT&T phone. Okay, let's go to next month and see what's what it looks like. So I have four bills that were uh, that were already paid, but then I have these orange dots. Let's tap on that, and it tells you it's due in two weeks from today. Okay, and you can pay it right from here. So this is a fantastic calendar view for all your bills in one place. Okay and then you can add credit cards so here's a Best Buy credit card it tells you your current balance Oops. tells you your current balance tells you your available credit your APR which is your annual percentage yield and also tells you if you have anything currently due and once again all this stuff shows up on the calendar if you go to overview bills it's gonna show up right here you can also get the list view if you want to okay perfect now as I said you can do the same thing with your credit cards investments and cash I added some fake cash accounts here so you can aggregate different bank accounts and add that full total to your uh, check application and again you do that by going to add accounts you can add bank accounts bills credit cards investments insurance loans okay so you got many 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 different choices and remember, the biggest thing is all this stuff you see right here is up to date and it's real time. Now, the next app I want to talk about is called Dictionary. Now, everybody needs a dictionary. And the best one is the Dictionary.com app because, first of all, it has one of the largest databases of words and definitions. So, you know you will find any word definition you are looking for. It also has a thesaurus built right into it. And my favorite, it is a speaking dictionary where the words are pronounced by a real human voice instead of a robot. So you can also get an ad-supported free version or a paid ad-free version. Both versions will have exactly the same capabilities and you only pay for the removal of ads in the ad-free version. So let's do a demonstration of looking up a word. Let's look up the word success. Tap that word. Just 
click that and then if you want the uh, dictionary to speak for you you tap that button right there that looks like the volume button okay so press that success and there is a real human uh, speaking uh, the word success and if you tap this you can go to the thesaurus and then you're going to get all the synonyms for the word success okay so again this is a wonderful application now the next app I want to talk about is called Yelp Yelp will help you find anything nearby restaurants bars coffee spots shopping centers and much more what I like about Yelp is that it has a vast database and it gives you all the useful information regarding each business you look up for example for any given business you get a phone number and address ratings realistic ratings by the way from real people you get the business hours and reviews now you can link it to your Facebook account and share where you are or where you are going to go with your buddies and friends on Facebook so let's do a demonstration so let's say you were looking for restaurants near New York and then you typed for on the search box you type in restaurants and you put New York and it gives you a bunch of restaurants that are available on Yelp and let's say you want to go to this guy right here okay so what you get here is the phone number the hours for today even tells you if it is open right now or not It gives you the menu and then you can get more information a pop-up window comes up gives you some more information that you may need and uh, you can go to the photos view if you want and from here you can tap on any one of these and look at some pictures okay so Yelp is a very useful application now this next app is my favorite of all it's called quote book did you ever come across a nice quote and wish you could quickly jot it down for later use well quote book lets you create a database of your personal quotes from any author or source you want and all your quotes are backed up to iCloud seamlessly so let's take a look at this app so let's do a quick demonstration let's say there's a uh, quote that you really really enjoyed all you do is you tap the plus button okay you type in the quote type the quote okay and then you can actually attribute the quote to an uh, author so Joe Okay, just do John. Alrighty, and then you can give it three stars, four stars, or five stars, or whatever you want. And then you can actually search all the quotes for John if you have to by tapping the orders button here. Okay, so John, he has two quotes saved. And then everything in this app is backed up to iCloud. Um, if you choose to do so so if you um, reset your iPad at some point and you install the application on a new iPad maybe the next generation iPad or an iPhone maybe you can in fact just transfer the quotes from here to any other uh, Apple device iPhone or the iPad using iCloud and the final app I want to talk about is called Google the Google app is fantastic primarily because of its potent speech search function especially when you're looking for information it blows Siri out of the water in regards to fetching relevant up-to-date information that you query for in a very quick and fast manner so let's do a demonstration on this as well so again let's do a quick demonstration let's ask Google some questions when did George Orwell die George Orwell died on January 21st, 1950. Okay, another one. What's the weather in New York right now? It's 62 degrees and clear in New York. Convert 5 miles to kilometers. 5 miles is 8.05 kilometers. What's 5,000 times 2 divided by 100? The answer is 100. Okay, so you get the idea on this one. All right, so the next app is called MSecure. This is hands down my top password manager app. This app lets you save your passwords, web login information, or any other sensitive private information inside of a password protected and encrypted environment. So your information will be safe. 
you can back up your database to your phone or your computer anytime without having to rely on any cloud-based service and this app also has is a, is a cross platform so you can download this for Mac Windows or Android and you can have them all synchronized with each other at all times and of course what I like about this application is all the options that you get with it so if you go to options here just by looking at these options you can tell about all the different things that you can do with this password manager application okay so you can uh, synchronize data backup data restore data you can do an email backup you can even do backup remainders reminders I mean okay and then you can change the fonts and the theme so you can go from light blue to red alrighty the next app is Google Maps another fantastic app by Google this one is a total replacement for the built-in Apple Maps app at least for me it's fast and responsive but the best thing is that it is based on the powerful foundation of the actual Google Maps database you also have access to the bus routes which the Apple map app lacks so let's do a demonstration so let's say you want you are in New York and you want to route to California okay so let's type in California here or Canada just let's just do Canada actually that didn't work so we'll do California and just by looking at the top here you've got this is what's gonna take by car you can go by bus you can go biking if you want okay or you can actually go walking so all the uh, options that you get online you also get them right here and if you do driving for example it tells you how many hours it's gonna take you can view the alternative routes and you can tap on any one of them to get a review a preview I mean okay very smooth and responsive okay once again I like this app because it's based on the Google foundation next up is YouTube the official YouTube app is the best YouTube app out there as far as I know it's well designed it's responsive and gives you access to all the common options uh, like your playlists your subscriptions history and such with the latest version of the YouTube app you can continue to play a video while you're browsing or searching for other videos so this is a perfectly amazing app that you gotta have alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.